<laughs> I hope to play around a lot. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Luxinda's Paper and Other Obsessions, and I figured maybe we should do some paper stuff today because I've, I've been doing resin stuff lately. Not that there's anything wrong with that, that's another obsession of mine. <laughs> it's one of those deals where I have collected so many things to try that I'm a little overwhelmed, and when I get like that I tend to shut down rather than having to actually make a decision and start with something. It's like, it's too much, I can't figure it out, I'll put it off and do something else. I'm gonna force myself to make a decision here. I have all of these different kinds of paper and more here, and there's more over here. And of course I have my gel plate, that, that I know. It's something I wanna work with. And then I started investigating art crayons and I discovered that Marabou has art crayons. And wouldn't you know, within 12 hours of me placing an order with Joggles for all of these Marabou art crayons, didn't they come out with a video? This was one afternoon. The next morning they came out with a video to introduce a whole new collection of Marabou art crayons. <laughs> so got in touch with them and I said, oh please, oh please, let me add this to my order. And they were kind enough to do that. So we have more Marabou art crayons than I could ever use in my lifetime. We'll play with those. And I also want to play with alcohol inks. And I want to do all of this, the art crayons and the alcohol inks, on my gel plate. The question is, what paper do I use? Because I'm so overwhelmed by all of these selections I have accumulated, I'm going to go with the easy copy paper first. We're just going to start with copy paper and see what we get. And I'm going to move all of these delicious pads of different kinds of paper off to the side. This is a gel press brand gel plate. It's just jelly. And that's really what, not obviously edible like Smucker's jelly, but engineered type of jelly to be used with artist supplies. I'm gonna take the top protective sheet off and put it aside. I'll leave the bottom sheet on just so it moves around. Main frame, okay. And the main reason I wanted to do this is just because I have a tendency to fling alcohol inks around. This will catch them and, and hold them. So I have my brayer and I have my paper. Another thing I'm going to use are a couple different light colors of really nice thick acrylic paint. This is Arteza. These are their pearlescent. I don't have plain white. Apparently I've used all of mine from my original box of 64,000 tubes that I got. What I have now is pearl white and another very light color is pearl lilac. And we are going to play. Now one of the things I know for a fact, because I've I've seen it many times on other channels, is alcohol inks stain this. Doesn't affect how it will operate. It will still work exactly the same. It'll just start to look stained. So don't be upset. Because <laughs> I'm not going to be upset. The other thing I'm going to get this, I'm not going to put any color in here and spray it out. I'm just going to use the air blowing function of the airbrush. Possibly blow these around. So we're going to start. These are Tim Holtz Ranger Pearl alcohol inks. So we have Villainous is the purple, Tranquil is the blue, Alchemy is the yellow slash gold, Deception is red, and Envy is green. No rhyme or reason. I have not played with my gel press nearly as much as I'd hoped to by now, so I don't really know what it does yet, except for what I've seen on other people's YouTube videos. So I'm just, we're just going to have a play as those wonderful Brits would say. Just have a play. Whoops. <laughs> and a squirt. I don't want to muddy it up too much, which I know is easy to do. Let's see what we get with this. kind of cool. You see the shimmer. One thing that somebody said in a video I just watched today was when you start playing with your gel plate, you are going to be amazed by how much paper you go through in one sitting, and I can already see that that's true. Ooh, I like that even more. Yeah, now let's see 
what happens. We put some white paint on here. Try and get a thin layer going here. Now what the paint does, as I understand it, again, I am not an expert, the paint creates a bond between the alcohol ink that's still on the gel press and the paper, in theory, then allowing you to pull up more of the alcohol ink. Oh yeah, definitely more of the, the ink. Look at that, you see the, the blue and the purple from like two or three layers ago? That is, that is really pretty. And the pearlescent white adds more shimmer. Okay, let's try a couple more alcoholing things and then we'll move on to the art crayons. Not only did this blow the alcohol inks around somewhat, but it's also dried everything. So let's put some white on here. Just a little bit. Pretty. Weird, but pretty. All right, I think I've exhausted my interest in the alcohol inks. I'll clean a little bit of this stuff off here. What will come off. Art crayons. Now this is something I saw somebody do just recently. I never even knew what art crayons were. Although you may have heard of them as, um, there's one brand, oh shoot. Gelatos. It's almost like a, well, they're like lipsticks in how they operate. So you take the, and you can, and a lot comes in here. I mean, this, this goes on and on and on and on. You can use it like a crayon, obviously. Uh, it's actually a lot more like a lipstick than a crayon. You can just draw with it. It's sort of a, like I said, a waxy substance. We'll see what happens when you draw with it on a gel plate. You're not going to see anything, especially because I've stained mine with yellow. So we won't see much. But I'm just going to take a whole bunch of different colors and kind of do random lines and stripes and whatnot. <laughs>
go. Look at how pretty that is. <gasps> See, that could be a journal cover right there. Think spring. Oh, that is beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Here's my ultra fine mister with water in it. All right, so I'm going to dampen my gel plate and we are gonna, we are gonna sprinkle on some brush out. A, let's do a preliminary poll. Let's do that. How to get some of the moisture off. This is regular uh, copy paper again. Oh, sugar. I moved it. I don't know. Now I have pretty blue fingers, too. Okay. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm running out of places to put things, but that's not unusual. Look at that. I'll do a better shot of all of these at the end of the video once they've dried and aren't curling up on me anymore. Do another poll and see what we get the next time. This is called also a, a ghost poll or a ghost print. And just because I'm curious, because I'm curious, I am going to find out what else is on here, if anything. Any of you out there who are used to using gel plates, you're probably watching me in horror, because I admit I don't have a lot of experience. I'm not getting particularly good um, smooth flat coverage with my paint before I try printing. So, you know, many apologies. I hope to play around as <laughs> I hope to play around a lot <laughs> and uh, get more proficient at this with time. Look at that. Look what was still on there. All sorts of goodies. All right, folks, I think we're going to call it here. Like I said, I will tack an ending onto this with all of the papers we did today once they're dry and presentable. And we're back. Okay, to keep this video relatively short, I'm just going to <laughs> stop playing because we did a lot of playing already. And now we're going to look at the results. It's the next day. Everything's dried. We'll take a look. So this, this was a iffy stab at alcohol inks. I like this. I took too long to get to this part and these dried up here. So I, do I dislike it? No, absolutely not. It'll, all of these will make amazing backgrounds or punch outs or pages in a journal or something like that. I, I don't think there's an ugly one in the bunch, but let's go through them. So this was the pearlescent alcohol inks, just in different forms. Um, and here we are again. Uh, this is what was left on the gel plate. And then I put some pearlescent white, the Arteza white paint over it. The results are just night and day different. This is the red and green pearlescent inks. And then we have all of my favorite colors, which are the blues and the purples and the greens. And then we have a second pole. Then we get into the fluorescent paint. And while this is gorgeous, it looks like leaves. I know it's because I didn't blend with the brayer very much. I left the, the paint blobs the way they were, but it's, it's kind of like fluorescent leaves on the ground. And then from the exact same set of paint, I mean, I think that I think that's really cool.
Apparently I got some of these out of order. This is my favorite. So those of you who watch my Tumblr channel, you may see something like this at some point. And then we have my beautiful, beautiful Brusho crystals, which I love so much. All right, so this is where we are. This is where we're gonna end next paper video, which isn't necessarily the next video, but the next time we do paper, I am going to dye some paper with coffee and some other paper with avocado. Look forward to that. Stay safe, everyone. I'll see you in the next video.